Hi, this is Lucas with My Service Depot, here today to talk to you about how you can manage service agreements with Smart Service. If you are interested in purchasing this module, please reach out to the help desk or your sales representative. This module is designed to help you manage your customers' residential and commercial contracts, what items and services are covered by these contracts, when these contracts will expire, and who to call to renew the contracts. Once you have purchased the service agreement module, you will need to enter the setup window in Smart Service. Choose the service agreement tab. In this tab, we will first enable the service agreement module by clicking Enable Service Agreements. You may wish to rename your module to something else, such as Maintenance Guarantee. You can do so by typing a custom name in the heading box field. Next, we will select our terms for service on the bottom left hand side of our agreement and select our terms for payment on the bottom right hand side. Once your agreement is set up, we can click on the home in the top right hand corner to make sure these changes are saved. To create our first service agreement, use contact search to find the customer this will belong to. Open the customer record and we will see a new tab, maintenance guarantee. Next, we will click Add New Maintenance Guarantee. Before we begin, remember the entries you provide will be saved as suggestion in the drop down menus for future agreements. You will want to verify that all information you are entering is correct. To start off, we must name the agreement. We recommend that the name is used for what level of service the customer has purchased from you. I'll enter Gold Maintenance Agreement. Next, choose what type of agreement this is. This field is generally used to describe what kind of customer this agreement belongs to. This agreement will be a commercial customer. If you have a sales rep responsible for this agreement, enter their name here. Moving on, you may select a contract period from the drop-down in the top right. If this contract was created before you obtained this module, you may select an original contract date. Otherwise, Smart Service will mark the contract date as today. We will also select how we would like to bill the customer. For this agreement, I will bill the customer quarterly. Once the agreement has been created for the customer, we must select the service agreement item that will represent the total cost of the agreement. For example, I have created a gold maintenance item for all of my gold agreement customers. This item will represent the total amount I wish to bill my customer for the entire agreement. Remember, this can always be broken up by the billing cycle we have selected. The specific items used on a job will be added to the job and the job will be attached to the agreement. QuickBooks Enterprise customers have an alternative option when adding line items onto a job covered under a service agreement. In QuickBooks Enterprise, we have the ability to create price levels and apply them to individual customers. We could create a service agreement price level, then select this inside of the agreement and repeat this process for all customer agreements. This would allow us to add job items onto the job and have them automatically adjusted to no cost for the customer. When we create a job, we will choose whether this job appears on the service agreement by choosing the agreement from this dropdown. We will now add the services or materials covered by the agreement with a $0 amount. Any additional services not covered by this agreement will be added to the job at standard cost. Now that our agreements have been created, we will walk through billing service agreements and filtering based on their contract periods. First, from the home screen, we click Office. Next, Maintenance Guarantees. Then we will select the types of agreements we are billing for. Alternatively, you can use Control F to search this screen by keyword. This does include customer name and expiration date. Today, I am going to bill for my quarterly agreements. Here, I can see the total contract amount and the amount that we are currently billing for this period. Above, 
we will select the correct options for the invoice and post. Posting a service agreement will create an invoice for the customer in QuickBooks for the period of service. This module also contains special reporting features designed to help manage your service agreements. By entering the reporting section in Smart Service, we can now see a new category, Service Agreements. Let's create a new report which will display what service agreements will be expiring next month. That way I can create a call list and renew these expiring customers. To create this new report, make sure to give it a name. I'll call mine Service Agreements Expiring Next Month. For report type, we'll choose Service Agreements. Let's add some field names to this report. You may customize your report to reflect your company's needs. For my company, I'll use the following. Service Agreement Expiration Date, Customer Name, Phone Number, Service Agreement Sales Rep, Service Agreement Contract Amount with a Currency and a Sum, Service Agreement Renewal Discount with a Percent, and Service Agreement Renewal Amount with a Currency Format. Afterwards, I'll add a sort for Service Agreement Expiration Date and another for Customer Name. We'll also need a grouping for Service Agreement Sales Rep. Once all of the necessary fields have been added to our report, we can save and close it and continue to add a filter. I'll click the filter icon and add a filter for Service Agreement Expiration Date is next month. Now I'll save and close. When I preview this report, I'll have a list of my customers who have an agreement expiring next month with their contact information and the discount if they choose to renew before their expiration. If you prefer to mail or email your customers regarding their agreements, the Smart Service Agreement module also allows you to create a mail merge. To enable this option, enter the Setup screen of Smart Service and move to the Service Agreements tab. The drop-down for Service Agreement type has an option for Mail Merge at the bottom. Select this option so we can start working on our Mail Merge template. To do so, enter the Office screen and choose the Service Agreement module. Locate the agreement you wish to merge and select the Microsoft Word Mail Merge button on the right. Additionally, there are options at the bottom of the screen to do this for every agreement we are viewing. If you already have a Mail Merge template created, you may navigate to the file in this window. If you would like to create a new Mail Merge template, clicking Cancel on this window will open the Microsoft Word Mail Merge template in the background. Since I've already created my Mail Merge template, I'll choose it here. Once it is loaded, it's my choice to print and mail this template or email this template to the customer. We have now concluded our tutorial on the primary uses of the service agreement module. Please remember that if you have any questions, comments, or concerns that you can reach out to the help desk by calling 888-518-0818 or by contacting support at myservicedepot.com. As always, for more hints, tricks, and tips, please visit smartservice.com slash wiki.